guys welcome back to my channel so today I am back with some camouflage nails here I did this one Matt don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way but um I had already started and yeah so I did this one they're just gonna be some blue camouflage but they're gonna be blue camouflage adidas nails so uh, some of them I'm gonna have some adidas I have some adidas stickers here and they are from AliExpress, from Miss Col they're Miss Color ones. And all you got to do is just stick them right on. And then I also have this uh, Mundo de Unas plate. And it's got Adidas here, and it's got a couple Adidas shoes here, and then some Adidas prints. So I don't know which ones I am going to use. But I'll figure that out when the time comes. So between the stickers and that plate, we'll figure that out. But um, I'm using my Claire Jelly Stamper plate. I do have a couple other camouflage plates. But for now, I'm just going to use this one. And it's these three. Oh, my thing just died out, my light. So let me just tear for now and then I'll wait till it charges up a little bit more so the light could kick back on but I'm going to be using these three right here as you can see and this is how it's going to look so the two dark ones I'm going to do with the camouflage and then I don't know what I'm going to do with these two in this one but I don't have it, I have kind of an idea of what I want to do, but nothing really planned on how I'm going to do it. So, we're just going to go with the flow. So, oh, and then the colors I have on the polishes I'm doing, this dark one right here, which was on this one also, is just this Jelly Belly. And it's the Sally Hansen Jelly Belly one. Insta dry and it's 630 and it's called blueberry. So that is that one. So blueberry number 630. And it's the Jelly Belly Insta Dry Sally Hansen one. And then this light blue one is um Eternal Polish I got from Amazon. And it's let me see what's the color. Oh, it's 45 and it's baby boy. So number 45, baby boy. And those just come in sets. And then um, I have this white. And I believe this white is just my gel polish. And actually this is the black one. But, oh, here's the white one. It's just this gel polish I've been using, this Yukio from AliExpress. So two coats of that. I think two coats. Actually, I think it's two coats on all of them. So now that we got that out of the way, I am just going to start stamping and I will be back when I am all done. But I'm going to wait. Let's see if this, yeah, there we go. The light turned right back on. I will be right back when I am all done with this and to talk about the plate and how the nails came out.
and these are the nails I did completely different from what I had in my like mind of what I was going to do. This play too, let me just tell you, is etched so freaking well. Some of the Leonis plates are like the sugar bubble plates and those, um, what are they called? Plates, um, B, BB or something plates, but not this one. Like my cotton was getting stuck to it. I literally could feel like it gripping on my hand. Like it almost feels like it's sharp. Like it could cut you. It just, the cotton just, I think there's cotton pieces like literally in there from when I cleaned it. It just, it really pulled and it picks everything up so nicely. Like it's really, and even like images like this, when sometimes when you have plates, they just are like a real, you know, to pick up, but you know what here, I'm going to even use regular polish. So this is the Jelly Belly uh, Sally Hansen polish. And these um, Sally Hansen Jelly Belly polishes do work good for stamping. But look how good this picks up. And that's with like regular polish. You could see every word or letter, not word. But... And sometimes you do have like a space here, there, like in the O, but that's easy. You just color those simple little pieces in. But like for the most part, I mean, look at that. It's amazing. This plate was amazing. Like I was shocked. Look how well the Adidas one picked up. And that was this one up here, the negative space one. So that one was this one right here. And you know how sometimes those can be really finicky and like a pain to get. So I was really shocked. I kind of just was hoping that I would get a pickup because sometimes these littler plates like these just, I have the hardest time with them sometimes. I don't know why, I just do. But no problem here with them today. But here is the nails that I did. And I ended up, let me attach this. I get my pore stands because I touch them and polish gets on the sides. They just get so wore. It actually makes the nails look not as good as they would if it was like perfectly clean. But here is, um, did that dry? Did that fully dry? Let me see. Because it shouldn't have any type of tackiness. Let's hope that was fully dry. So, oh, I am going to take um, some alcohol here. And a lint-free wipe. So let me grab this alcohol and a lint-free wipe. I am just dropping everything. And I'm going to go over it because it is a non- Non white top coat, like you don't need to wipe it, it's not sticky, it's a no white. But it felt a little tacky to me, so let me kind of blow on it a little bit so you can see. So I did these two matte, so this one and this one, and this one is matte. I know you could probably see it a little bit. I went around it with the blue polish that I painted it <clears throat> because I had a couple marks up here from when I stamped it I must have like had little pieces and when you put the foil glue on sometimes even sometimes you won't even see that there's these little dots of black or something or the stamping polish color you used and you don't get it all off with the roller and it so I tried to take my brush and clean it, but because this wasn't a gel polish, obviously I was wiping away the paint. And so I had to go back over it, and then I just colored in with the uh, with a detail brush. I tried to get in between so you couldn't notice as much, but 
yeah otherwise it would be a little more perfect like this one down here but I made it matte did this one matte I did these two I was gonna do a matte too but I just decided to do these two shiny and then here I tried to make the Adidas shoes. I tried to put the little gold tag in there. I made a little black line on the bottom. I just tried to give it a little more something. I was going to make a couple like, um, like an off white to make, try to make like the indentation of the lines in the shoe, like the Adidas shoes. But yeah, I had some shoes like these. Uh, I think it was last year or the year before. I loved them. They had cloud foam in them. They were so comfy. But, um, these are my, I basically was going to do camouflage nails and I basically made them into Adidas nails. The Adidas design was just going to be like on one or two nails, like a little accent to it, but it became more Adidas than cameo. So the camouflage was just a little touch. But these are my nails and actually... This is not even a, um, a stamp. This was one of these stickers here. And I just put a matte over it. Oh, and I just put a matte polish over it. And you can't even tell it's a sticker. And these stickers work so well. I do stick... Um, I have like a bunch of these. I did buy another set because I got like a ton of them in the mail. They gave you like 50. Um, it was between Nike Adidas. No, I bought four different packs. I think that's why. And you get 10 in each one. I bought Adidas, um, Adidas Nike, um, Snoopy, the Pink Panther, and I could have swore there was one more. But I usually put those in with my giveaways. So, and I could have swore I had one of these already like opened to like use but sometimes I grab the corners or something and I hope I didn't make I hope it's in my basket somewhere and I didn't accidentally throw that in a giveaway basket if I did please tell me I'm so sorry I owe you like a new package because that is so not cool but hopefully I didn't and I sent everybody like a brand new package because I tried to throw little extras in there but my head be all over the place sometimes. Things happen, you know, you don't mean it to, but honest mistakes. But, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys like these nails. So tell me what you think. But do you see how nicely that sticks on? Like, you can't even see where it's stuck on there. These stickers are so flawless. And up here, it would even be more perfect. Let me see. But that's where I peeled it up from. But yeah, these are some flawless stickers. Love them. But tell me what you guys think. And I think if I did these two, but I just want to say, if I did these two all black, it might have even looked really cool too. Because then you would have just seen like the white gym shoe. But I kind of like it with the camouflage. So anyway, tell me what you guys think. I hope you like these nails. Um, yeah, and have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your Friday. And I'm going to try to get this up tonight, but I might not get it up till this weekend. So if that's the case, have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your weekend. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Stay safe. Bye.